what's going on y'all um <clears throat> i was thinking about where should i place this and how should i do this video about this particular subject because it's such a heavy one and it's one of those subjects where we really need to discuss it it's one of those subjects where we're tired of discussing it but we need to discuss it and i felt like it needed its own video and not to just be clumped in with some entertainment news or whatever um because this is real life this is real life for everybody no matter what your stature is in life no matter where you are this is real life fucked up shit okay <clears throat> excuse me um saturday may 14th an 18 year old which i refuse when all of this stuff happened i refuse to give the culprit's name the perpetrator name because it's bad enough that we actually got to speak on this person or these people but it's even worse that we have to put their name out there and honestly i feel as though we are already giving it more attention because giving them the attention that they want so things that i can do to give them less attention is not mention their name all right and that's why i don't you guys probably know their names or his name or whatever but i'm not gonna mention it in here because fuck him um <clears throat> 18 year old white supremacist that's all that it really is when it comes down to him um basically went drove 200 miles which is what probably what two three hours away from where he was living at in new york down to buffalo new york um into an area that was predominantly black and then i'd say some research or whatever people was talking about you know how that's in that area over there in Buffalo is probably one of the top 10 segregated places still, you know what I'm saying? Um, economically, financially, socially, all of that, you know? And this particular area where they went to, where he went to, where the store was at, Tops Friendly Market, um, I believe that's the name of it, Tops for short, was in a predominantly black neighborhood. And it was in an area that was once a food desert. And then I'm listening to more reports about how this was for many of them. This was the only place that they can go to to get their groceries because there would not be another store for miles. Okay. You know, and <clears throat> it was only up there for 19 years. This motherfucker went up there. Mind you, he visited. He visited. Now, let's put this out there. He basically, you know, started shooting up the place committed a massacre, did a serial murder, um, you know, shot up 10 people, well, actually 13 people. And out of those 13 people, 10 of them passed away. 11 of them was black, two of them was white. I don't know about the white men or the, the white people that wound up passing away because that's what I recently found out. But unfortunate as well. That's unfortunate as well. But I'm we make an emphasis on the black because black people because of the simple fact that his whole reasoning for going down into this neighborhood was because racism. Because he didn't fuck with black people. He didn't fuck with immigrants. He didn't fuck with anybody that was not white. That's what it was. These white supremacist, nationalist freaking views. You know, um, what is this whole theory that they got going on? The replacement, the great replacement, you know, conspiracy theory or whatever. Um, just basically that they're fearing these white people fearing that you know black folks and immigrants or whatever will come in and basically make the white white race extinct okay white people will become the minorities and uh, uh immigrants or whatever people of color we will become the majority and they can't handle that you know they're trying to save the white race and it's just so sickening that people really think that. And to be honest, if you want to think about it and you want to be real, if that's how you truly felt, don't be mad at us, people of color, black people or whatever for coming here. Be mad at your own folks. And I'm not even trying to, you know, your own lineage, lineage, your own heritage. Be mad at your own people for going over to other people's places of living homelands and bringing them over here 
okay? They didn't think that far, huh? They didn't think that far. So it's not our fault. It's your folks' fault. It's your lineage fault, okay? It's your ancestors' fault, you know? So it is what it is. It's, um, when it comes to black folks, you know, it is what it is. We didn't do this. We didn't ask to come over here, you know? And now that we can come over here for, you know, betterment or whatever, what exactly are we doing making the country bad? We're help building this country. Everybody is helping to build this country, okay? You didn't give us nothing. You didn't give us culture. You didn't give us anything, okay? So what are you talking about? Why? I just... I just don't understand the reason why people want to hate so bad. Why do you let the hate fester up in your heart so bad that you are sitting there waiting to do something that you are writing out a 180 page manifesto that you are going to get assault rifles that you're not supposed to have and you're writing the n-word on the barrel and you got other supremacists um uh, fucking stance on there and you're literally going into a predominantly black neighborhood to kill black folks that you visited before in march to get a lay in the land and i'm putting that out there because he did his research this was very much premeditated it's nothing to do with no fucking mental illness because i don't want to hear that shit i don't want to hear that shit i did see something talking about the uh, parents were saying that it was about um because of the covid and all that shit fuck that Fuck that. We all going through some shit. This this pandemic didn't turn us into no goddamn racist. This pandemic didn't turn us into a murderer, okay? We out here living and trying to survive, and you out here destroying lives for what? For what? No fucking real reason, okay? This fucking great replacement. <clears throat> Y'all still going to be here. We still going to be here. That's just how it goes. It ain't never been one race, and it never will be. Like, well, it probably did at the beginning. But at this point in time, it never will be, okay? You know, y'all know what I'm saying. But what really disturbs me about this whole case are the victims and their ages. I think the youngest victim that we saw was 32 years old. Everybody else was 50-something and up, all the way to 80-something, you know? And... It just pisses me off that we have to go through this. Let me just put the victim's name out there because those are the ones that deserve recognition. We have Aaron Slater, Slater Assaulter, I should say. He's a retired Buffalo police lieutenant who was just working as a security guard. And from what I heard, he was working as a security guard because he was bored. He was retired from the police force and he was bored. He actually exchanged gunfire with this shooter and wound up getting fatally wounded, so he wound up dying. Um, 86-year-old Ruth Whitfield, she was just coming back from visiting her husband at the nursing home and decided to pick up some food. You know, she was a mother of four and a grandmother of eight, and she'd been there for 50 years in Buffalo. And we also have Catherine Macy, who was a civil rights and education advocate, and less than a year ago, she wrote to the newspaper about having more restriction on these federal gun laws. We need more regulations and all this stuff. And then she winds up passing away because of gun violence, because of how easily accessible this boy was able to get this and to come and take her life for what reason? For his own imaginary stupid agenda because he's listening to other people he's getting radicalized but yet black folks are the problem people of color are the problem we don't it's oh my god when you think about it and you say this shit out loud it just it just it just pisses me off like why are we still going through this shit and then We don't even hear, you know, as much outrage as we should. Like, where are the people who are so white identified, especially in our black community, who feel as though, you know, um, racism is not here? Where's Candace Owens? Has she said anything about this? What, what, what excuse do you have? What, what do the people at Fox News got to say about it? Because they put some shit out there, too, that, 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 that falls into the play and, and play up into this radicalized shit and this, this, this leftist shit or whatever that's trying to divide the country. You want to say that others are trying to divide, but then this rhetoric that you're putting out is all about division. 
you got to look in your own fucking backyard first. Also, we have Roberta Dury. She was 32 years old. She was just going there to get some food for dinner. That's it. You know, Pearly Young, she was 77 years old. Um, and for 25 years, she ran a food pantry in um, Buffalo Central Park neighborhood. <sighs> she fed the kids, she fed the needy every Saturday. Hayward Patterson routinely gave people rides to the marketplace, you know, assisted them with their groceries and everything, just out here being good Samaritans and good citizens. Celestine Cheney, she was here visiting her sister, or she was there visiting her sister and went to go get some strawberry shortcake. Wanted a strawberry shortcake, so she went to the store to get the to get the ingredients and when all this shit popped off she couldn't run because she's older and her legs were messed up so therefore she became a victim Geraldine Talley 62 years old um she came to the shop with her fiance somehow I don't understand how they got separated but he survived and she didn't her fiance survived the shooting as he went to a different part of the store and attacked I'm going to be quiet on that. Um, Andre McNeil, 53 years old, from Central Auburn, um, Central New York City. And Margus Morrison, 52 years old, father of three, from Buffalo. Like, y'all, my heart hurts so bad, and I haven't really been speaking on it because I just knew it was just going to really piss me off, and it really did. Like, I literally was just sitting up in here just doing a whole bunch of research and just looking at article after article after article, and then come to find out that he was displaying signs of this. He was displaying, like, bizarre behavior and really crazy behavior. Even the people at his school had some issues with him. He threatened to shoot one of the students at the school at graduation. But yet, y'all didn't feel the need to report this to the police or to do something about this or whatever. The parents didn't know. They claim they didn't know. And my whole thing is, I, I don't know if I can truly blame the parents and say well you should have been keeping up on your child he's an 18 year old man at this point you know teenagers have their way of getting around stuff and getting stuff past their parents or whatever and it just makes me want to know what's going on in that household did they, they i don't know if they felt the same way but i mean i did see something saying that they were devastated by it this motherfucker pled not guilty <laughs> Mind you, all of this was happening on fucking Twitch. You're live streaming on Twitch, and then you had the fucking nerves to get up here and to plead not guilty after your ass was able to go to a courtroom and to be able to put in a plea because let this would have been a person of color or a black person. Oh, the cops would have shot them down. But see, you know, when it's the white boys or whatever who's doing this shit, uh, well... Let's not shoot him down. Oh, and he surrendered and all that stuff. That's cute. That's cute. But y'all treating him a little bit too delicate for my liking. A little bit too fucking delicate. Especially when he's admiring people who've done this shit before. Who've done this shit before. And my whole thing is this. What do you plan to accomplish? You want to inflict pain? Is that what it is? You want to inflict pain on a group of people? Because what else are you going to be able to do? As soon as this happened, either you're going to lose your life or you're going to go behind bars, which is another form of losing your life. And we're still going to be out here living. It's going to still be more black folks out here. It's still going to be more people of color. It's still going to be more immigrants coming in. So what did you really accomplish? What did you really accomplish? Causing pain? Yeah, you accomplished that. But it sure enough didn't change whatever fucking agenda that you had. I'm just... And then we're talking about... You know, we get into that whole debate about the gun laws and all this. We don't want to take your guns. We just want to make it so that certain people cannot get easy access to it. But then they can find that shit on the street. So it's like a fucking lose-lose situation as it is, you know. And it's just, y'all, I'm so pissed. I, I can't even get my words together. But I just really wanted to talk. My condolences to them. And then we had a fucking church shooting out there in Southern, uh, uh, what is it, Orange County, Geneva Presbyterian Church. Girl, 1.26 p.m., gunmen come up in there, 
Five people got shot. Well, six people got shot. Five of them okay. And one of them died. And I think the one that died was the one that was trying to struggle and, and, and fight off the uh, the shooter. So that's what wound up happening with that. It's just a crazy world that we live in in 2022 that we still have to talk about mass shootings that's happening. We still have to talk about racially charged issues that are happening. And then there are people who still think that racism is not a thing. And then you have people trying to take away critical race theory from schools, okay? Um, because the kids don't need to be guilted into, no, they're not being guilted. They're just learning history. We had to learn your own history. How come they can't learn what happened to their ancestors and what they did to our ancestors so that they can know not to do that? These kids are more strong than they than you y'all think. Y'all just don't want the fucking truth to be put out there. Cause you <sighs> Oh my God. Y'all, this is fucked up. <laughs> this is fucked up. And honestly, like today, I really don't hear no more um that much chatter about it. And that's what really pissing me off too, because it's like, let's talk about it for a couple of days and then let it die down and it is what it is. And I hate shit like that. I hate when it get like that because it should be a whole lot more outraged than it is. But it's just a shame that we cannot go to basic places like the fucking grocery store to, to, to take care of our daily needs or, you know, to feed our fucking family. And, and we have to watch our back. We can't go to the movie theaters. We have to watch our back. We can't go to fucking church and places of worship. We have to watch our back. We can't just go down the fucking street. We can't go to schools. We, we couldn't go to school for a long time without watching your back, okay? Being aware of your surroundings. You just have to be fucking aware of your surroundings and aware of the people that are around you, okay? Because you just never know what's going on in the person's head. What? I don't know. It's just too much, y'all. It's just too much. And if y'all can see, like, I'm really pissed. And then I got to go back downstairs and get on this fucking desk. Being surrounded. Ooh, my God. My goodness. I just can't. I just can't. My prayers and condolences go out to everybody involved. I saw that press conference when that lady broke down. I don't understand how these families be able to do these press conferences. Because, bitch, I would have been just like that. I would have been just like that. Okay? You... My mama lived a long ass life and my grandma lived a long ass life only for it to be taken away from her over some stupid shit. Over some stupid shit. That's what I be. Oh my God. Oh my God. Throw the fucking book at him. When it comes to shit like this, and, and, and then you got the proof, you got the manifesto, you got the, the live streaming and all that shit. Ain't no fucking need for a goddamn trial. Just go ahead and sentence that motherfucker. And I know it said everybody is deserving of a... Bitch, we need to make some fucking exceptions, okay? Just go ahead and sentence that bitch to guilty, okay? Throw the fucking book at him and give him the fucking death penalty. Girl, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. We don't need to waste the past, uh, uh, taxpayers' time with a fucking trial. Just go on here and throw the fucking book at them. And then do something about these fucking uh, uh, apps or whatever, these streaming services that allow shit like this to keep on going without flagging it. You know, how do you allow... And no, I did not watch the video, and I'm not going to watch the video. For fucking what? I don't need to have that pain in my heart even more than it is. I don't need to have those images in my mind, okay? No. No. <sighs> Y'all... It's a shame. We have to tell our loved ones that we love them every fucking time they go out the house because we don't know if that's going to be the last time we see them. That's basically what it's come to. That's basically what it comes to being black in the fucking America. Uh, I'm sorry. I really got pissed off at that moment. You know, and it's not, and that's the thing. It's not everybody. And I'm sitting here, I'm not going to be pissed off at every white person that come in because I know every white person don't do that. It's just that one particular sect. Anyway, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it, y'all opinions. And if you were in the area or knew any other people, shout out to Pretty Ch uh, Pretty Chick TV. I'm pretty sure Brandy. You know, she from Buffalo. I just hope everybody heals somehow, some way. And we all just need to come together. Some way, somehow, everybody's eyes is gonna wake up eventually. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. I'll see y'all later. Peace.